Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Barry Campbell. We're so happy to be able to highlight a few of our pieces from our inventory. We have some really great paintings. We do a lot with women artists, a lot of women abstract expressionists. We have been fortunate over the years to sell a lot of Elaine de Koonings. So when we talk about de Koonings in this gallery, we're talking about Elaine, and as we like to say, EDK, just like her signature down there. We are so pleased to have this particular painting with us in inventory. I think people um, are just learning about Elaine de Kooning. There's a lot of books out, as you know, the Ninth Street Women, um, and they talk a lot about the more well-known women abstract expressionists like Elaine de Kooning. She was quite a personality. She was jovial. She was beautiful. She was engaging. She was all those things. Um, but I think it's time that we start to talk about the art a little bit more because I feel that Elaine de Kooning was a great painter herself. I think when you look at her whole body of work, there are some people now who only want the portraits, there's some people that only want abstraction. Her whole body of work is made by an artist who was serious and thinking about paint from beginning to end. So she met de Kooning in 1938 um, and started studying with him, but she had actually gone to the Leonardo da Vinci School before that and met Conrad Marcarelli. She was always surrounded by the arts. Her mother took her to the Metropolitan Museum. So this was ingrained in her art history. Um, in the 50s, she's painting in an abstract style. Um, and then I think many of you know that she started, she moved out west and she taught at the University of Mexico in Albuquerque. And she, when she went out west, the landscape changed, the light changed, the big vistas changed, and her compositions changed. So she started doing a series of bulls there. Um, she went to Mexico and, and saw bullfights, and so that would become a theme. And as you look at L Elaine de Kooning's artwork over the years, she often had a theme. There was something about the work that would have a representational element. Even when she was painting abstractly, she still titled the paintings uh, with reference to someone or something. So in the 60s, uh, she did, had a, did wonderful bull paintings. The Arkansas Art Center has a major, major painting from 1960. You'll see a lot of this similar reference to this brush stroke here. This painting is later from 1987 from her cave painting series. My point is, she refers back and forth, forth to subjects all the time. She paints the sports in the 1940s. She paints the sports in the 1970s. She does portraits in the 1940s. Think of her fabulous self-portrait in the 1940s. And then think of her JFK portrait in the 1960s. So Elaine de Kooning, as much as it seems like she's sort of bouncing around, there is a through line in everything she's doing. She's very consistent about subjects and themes that she likes. In the 1980s, she took a trip and saw the caves of Lascaux in France and Altamira in Spain. And for those of us who study art history, this is where art history begins. This is the first slide they show in class. This is um, very special to see where the history of art. And at this time, you know, imagine Willem de Kooning is extremely famous. He's at the pinnacle and she's also thinking about her placement in art history. She was very moved by these caves, the way that the jagged rocks behind, and then these flat shapes of the bulls and the horses on top. And this is what she's painting. So she did hundreds of watercolors and gouaches and studies on paper. Then it, when she came back to the United States in her studio, she mounted some of those paper pieces to canvas, and then she also painted canvases. Um, and in fact, she did canvases up to 20 feet long. Um, and so this is a very important series, this cave painting series. What I love about this particular painting is the blue. So while the caves did not have this color, she came back and added this color. I also just want to speak about gesture. You can't talk about Elaine de Kooning and not talk about the gesture in her paintings. They are so energetic and emotive and 
dancer-like and vigorous. And you think about even in her portrait, say her portrait of JFK, there's that same energy, same power. She was a very energetic, a very powerful woman. She was a great teacher. And I hope you get to learn more about this particular series of paintings. I feel like I have an essay and a little bit more to say about them. So I hope you'll come talk to me about this painting and other Elaine de Kooning's in our inventory. Thanks so much.